The age of Alexander is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Guys, Cedric Alexander had one of the best matches in the Cruiserweight Classic a couple of years ago. It, it was so good, Triple H came out and imported the man and then signed him to a WWE contract. You know, you look at every superstar, and every superstar has their individual motivations. Or well, for Cedric Alexander, it is simply to be a good role model for his young daughter to prove that as long as you put in the work, you can succeed at whatever you want to do. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, the Scottish Supernova, Noam Dar. Noam Dar made his debut at age 15 and has been competing in the ring for over a decade. Dar accomplished a lot of big things on 205 Live. Now he's branched out and started competing in NXT UK. My sources tell me that Alicia Fox still has a bit of a thing for him. Still? That's it. Highly skilled. He's the first Israeli-born superstar to compete in WWE. He's got a, bit, a little bit of his own swag going, too. He's smug. He's not smug, Cole. He's confident. Shortly after his 205 Live debut, Cedric Alexander caught the eye of Alicia Fox, but he also caught the eye of a jealous Noam Dar, who made it his mission to impress Alicia and embarrass Cedric. Yeah, Noam Dar was infatuated with, uh, let me see if I can say it right, Alicia Fox. And was determined to beat Cedric to show his dominance. However, when Cedric saw Alicia reciprocating Dar's advances, he dumped that crazy fox. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. What a match. What a match. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Up and around. Uh-oh, in the clutches. This could be it. his way free but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out cedric alexander has a very complete artillery what tool in particular can help pick up the win here well it has to be the lumbar check michael when you come crashing down on those knees it's lights out Saxton, his opponent might have that move scouted to your question cole a toolbox is the sum of its parts. Why pick just one when you can throw it all at the problem and see what works? Go face first. Noam Dar gets out of the way quickly. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. One leg locked in here. Is he done? And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Whoa, Alexander dodged that one barely. If you go up, you have to come down. Now he's been put on the defensive. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Fisherman suplex. Is it enough? to the throat. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. 
Oh, a wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. now. No need to maintain that aggression. Can they get the grip locked in? He's just about there. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. No Amdar making him think twice. Now with complete control. Lights out. DDT connects. Right between the eyes. Into a head scissor takedown. Oh, right up there. Lightning fast reflexes. Oh, God, John Impact. He's lining him up. Check out the springboard. Noah Dar gets out of the way quickly. To the back of the neck. Scottish sickle. How'd he do that? He's looking to fly. another glance at these superstars in action. victory here tonight. The Queen City's favorite son will never break through if he keeps collecting losses. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.